Hi everyone, so in this video I'll show you how to take advantage of free TBUs and TBUs to accelerate your machine learning uh, projects. Uh, let's talk a bit about a motivation. So if you have been working with machine learning or deep learning models, you may know that to efficiently train a machine learning model on massive amount of data, um, data scientists or machine learning engineers often need to use specialized hardware such as graphics uh, processing units, uh, GPUs, or tensor processing units or TBUs. Um, the, the reason why TBUs are more suitable for your deep learning models is that compared to the CPUs in your regular computer or laptop, uh, GPUs have thousands of cores that can make your tasks run in parallel. Um, there are more reasons, um, but I will not go into detail, and you can read or search more about high performance computing or parallel computing topic. So with these specialized hardwares, the, the training task that used uh, to take weeks or months to complete now only take minutes. Uh, the problem is that these hardware are very expensive, uh, so it requires uh, a huge upfront cost, and uh, so it's discouraged a lot of beginners to, to get started. Um, the good news is now you can take advantage of free GPUs and TPUs to develop your machine learning or deep learning models using Google Collaboratory. So let's get started. So what is Google Collaboratory? So Google Collaboratory is a research tool for machine learning education and research. If you work with Jupyter Notebook before, it's very similar to Jupyter Notebook. It's basically just a Jupyter Notebook environment uh, that requires no setup to use. Uh, that means you can execute your Python code without any required setup. Um, so instead of you have to install Jupyter Notebook or Jupyter Lab in your machine, now it just runs on your browser and let you run, run, and share code within the Google Drive. Okay, so let me show you how you can quickly get started on using Google Collab. So you can either go to drive.google.com, uh, basically your Google Drive account. You need to have a Google account and go to your Google Drive, click on New, More, and if you don't see the collaboratory apps here, you click on Connect More Apps and you search for Collab Apps and you just install it and you just see it here. All right, so New, More, Collaboratory and it bring you, uh, it create a new notebook a uh, new collab notebook in the environment uh, that, that you can get started. Or you can quickly go to collab.research.google.com. Same thing, it bring up the collab environment and you can choose. Uh, they, they have a lot of like example that you can get started. So the, the most recent one or the started notebook, I would say, in collab notebook, a hello collaboratory. As you can see that you have the, it's very similar to general notebook that you have the text environment here. This is a uh, text, and then you can have the code uh, of a sale here. This is um, code sale, and this is the markdown sales in a sense. And you can uh, execute a code uh, inside your collab environment. So specifically for this uh, tutorial, I create a GitHub repo uh, with all the um, notebook for you to get started. So if you see the first notebook here, I'll link the link in the description below. So if you see the first notebook here, uh, you can either go to this link or this link. So this link here it will get you to the uh, collab environment. So the first step on playing with collab is that let uh, bring over a new code cell that uh, TensorFlow is pre-installed. So you just need to import TensorFlow and start coding. So here import TensorFlow as TF and you click run. It should run, run through and then you just start coding, right? Uh, the tip number two is if you need to install extra library or data dependency, you can either use pip install or apt-get. So you can do pip install. For example, if you need pandas, you can do you know uh, pip install pandas. Or if you don't want to use you know, you know TensorFlow, you can use PyTorch. You can do pip install uh, and uh, PyTorch. Uh, library if you want to use PyTorch and TensorFlow. So TensorFlow is um, open source machine learning library for you if you want to deal with machine learning. Um, so tip number three is that uh, default uh, is that uh, by default all Collab notebooks runs on CPU. But if you want to take advantage of you know uh, free GPU or TPU, you can easy, easily go to um, runtime. So I'll show you here at runtime, 
and then change runtime type uh, the, and then you can choose you know GPU or TPU right default is CPU but you can either choose GPU and let me quickly show you here the system specification it will use the GPU um, runtime so if you run it here show you the specification so the memory is uh, 13 gigabyte which is a lot for your virtual environment and the device type here we use a GPU's device so Google offer a uh, Nvidia Tesla K80 GPU for the GPU option and that's a literally a thousand or two thousand um, dollar graphic card if you want to buy it from Nvidia uh, right it's very expensive but now it's free for you to use so please take advantage of it uh, for your you know uh, machine learning projects so let me quickly go over this notebook to show you the power of the collab notebooks right so it's very similar to your Jupyter notebook that you can have code and text cell so each of this is a cell and you can easily add in a text cell like this and you can write your Mac down uh, like intro to collab for example ship enter and move to the next cell and you can move your cell around by using these two arrows right? and this is a code cell that you can write your Python code and you can easily execute it and you can choose different runtime like uh, CPU or GPU or TPU, right? And just take advantage of GPU, and you have like a thousand dollar graphic card to use uh, for your machine learning project. Uh, you can also use uh, do some interactive data visualization inside a notebook similar to Jupyter Notebook. Also, if you want to get um, some code example on how to do the interactive visualization inside the Collab Notebook, you can always click on the um, arrow here and go to code snippet and search for visualization and you can easily insert the uh, notebook like the code here and just ship enter and you see the data visualization uh, 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 here so there's a lot of uh, code snippet that you can choose to insert and play around with it also uh, collab notebook su support Magda render that means you can write your uh, math formula uh, here and it will render the math formula uh, using markdown rendering right collab notebook support form so forms provide an easy way to uh, parameterize your code so you can see here that you can enter uh, the the tax value here for example I can put like tax value and you ship enter and you print it out this is the new the value of, of this parameter is now changed so it's just a way for you to do some drop down or changing your parameter value to just parameterize your uh, parameterize your code that's the power of the collab notebook now you can also share and edit collaboratory so all collab notebook here as you can see a uh, store in the Google Drive and you can share it similar to uh, Google Docs or Google Sheet right all you need to do is just click share and it create you a link and you just you know share it with your friend or you can enter email of your friend and share it and you know you and your friend can both you know work collaboratively in the same notebook and execute it in this Google Cloud environment also if you want to store your code on github there's a way that you can easily integrate with github as well so similarly if I have the notebook in my github repo right and I have this notebook here and I can easily create a link like this like collab github and then the link to my github repo for example this one is you know Tonavu art uh, deep learning tutorial and in the master branch here I got this um, collab example notebook directory and you can see in the link here in master in the collab example notebook directory I have this intro to Google Google collab uh, avatar notebook and just you know make the link like this and it only you know render my notebook that means I can store the code or the notebook in my github repo and integrate Golab with uh, with the github that means I can execute my code even though my, my code is stored not on Google Drive but on github so that's a couple of tips on how to use Google Collaboratory so all the information in the uh, notebook example I'll put in on the link in the description below, but you, I encourage you to go through all the example notebook I put on this uh, GitHub repo. For example, this one, uh, using Google Cloud with GitHub will give you the uh, detailed information how to integrate GitHub with Google Colab. 
uh, this one right here is to give you all the example code of how to doing data inter or interactive data visualization report inside Google Colab. So beside matlotlib here, and you can execute a code uh, to to see um, you can execute a code to see the output, right? And you see the interactive report directly in the uh, in your browser. So beside matlotlib, uh, Google Col uh, Colab also support like other um, interactive visualization library, for example, like Seaborn. Right. You can execute and see it here. Uh, Blotly or Bokeh uh, here. So there's a lot more of the library that you can uh, that uh, Google Colab support that you can play around with. And I can execute the code here for you to see. This is in. Uh, you just do pip and so Bokeh, right? And you run to the code here uh, to see how the Bokeh work. So this is the interactive data, uh, data visualization report that generated by the bokeh library and the final example i have here is the breast cancer prediction uh, in google column um, so in order to run through this example you have to upload the data that i have already prepared for you here in directory so if you go to the collab example notebook and breast cancer collab you see all data here and you can upload the data directly into files Right. So if you choose on uh, the runtime, it should show you like this, and you can upload the data directly here, a and you can run through the code. Finally, if you want to explore more uh, Google Collab uh, projects or example, I encourage you to explore the SeedBank project. So if you to go to SeedBank, uh, which is re research.google.com SeedBank, and this is uh, just a collection of all the interactive machine learning example uh, from Google. And it, uh, they have a lot of tutorial for you to get started, right? So if you go to Browse Seed, and if you want to just get started on machine learning, just click on Basic ML. And this is all the examples. So this is a cl uh, classic one, like uh, hand classifying handwritten digit. So if you click on it, it will open a Collab Notebook, and you can run through all the example here and if you want to get your old copy you can either save a copy in your google drive right and you have a google copy here but if you link your github with the uh, collab uh, with your google drive then you can easily save it to your github as well and then i can choose my repository and i can choose my branch and i can just you know save it directly in my uh, GitHub, right? So that's uh, a way for you to integrate with uh, GitHub from Google Colab. So I encourage you to go to SeedBank and browse all the example here, and there's a lot of them, right? Beside the basic ML, you can have more advanced example like dealing with image and videos, uh, do unsupervised, do sounds and music. So I encourage you to go to all of the code or example here, playing around with them, execute them. It, it's called uh, reproducible research, right? So uh, somebody already have the interesting uh, experiment, a uh, uh, science experiment, and they put all the input, output, all the result here. All you need to do is just execute and make sure that code is uh, reproducible. So that all the tips I want to show you how to use Google Colab for your machine learning uh, projects, right? So let's quickly go over all the tips uh, for you for us to remember again. So the first tip on using Google Colab is TensorFlow is pre-installed. You just need to do import TensorFlow and start coding. The second tip is uh, if you need to set up your library or data dependency in the code cell, just do pip install or abt get to install the extra dependency. Right. The third uh, tip is uh, Google Colab is integrated with uh, GitHub. So um, you can easily create a link from GitHub Notebook to Google Colab by saving the Colab uh, Notebook in your Google Drive to GitHub. Or if you have a notebook already in GitHub, you can easily, you know, uh, using this link right here, it would no require authorization that and Colab will ultimately load the public GitHub Notebook directly in the Colab environment. The fourth tip is you can share and edit your code uh, collaboratively with your friend or with your colleague 
similar is uh, to the way you share your Google Docs or Google Sheet because all of your uh, collaboratory notebooks are stored in Google Drive. Uh, the fifth one is hardware acceleration, which is the main topic of this video is by default, Collab Notebook runs on CPU, but if you want to use free GPU or TPU, which usually very, costs a lot of money, you can just go to runtime and change the runtime type hardware accelerator and choose the GPU option. And Google offer a Tesla K80 GPU for the GPU option for your choice. Uh, and some couple of extra tips that I want to use with Google Colab is you can insert a code snippet to get an example of how to use some uh, code, uh, code snippet in Google Colab. You can upload your train and test data right directly in the Colab uh, environment to run to your example to do some exploration with your data set. And finally, you can explore the Seedbank project, which is a collection of all the interactive machine learning examples uh, that I think it's very interesting to play around. And finally, I want to talk about some ideas you can effectively use your Google Collaboratory for your benefit. So if you are just getting started on the machine learning journey, here are a few ideas you can use. So you, you can create a machine learning portfolio on GitHub and share it with your future employers to impress them. Literally, all big tech companies, including myself, when I look for a future candidate, if they don't have a lot of experiences, or we try to see if they have any side projects to support their skill set. Uh, this will give you a huge advantage when you're looking for a job uh, that your employer can see your machine learning or data visualization projects and they can actually run it and interact with it, right? The second uh, idea is you can create a learning uh, notes for future reference. So I have an example here. that all of the notes, right, how to do deep learning, how to use scikit-learn, all of the notebook here for your reference. And sometimes, you know, your codes can get complicated and it's good to know the input or output of your function, right? So now you can store the notebook in your GitHub repo as a learning, you know, reference. And then it will create a link in your collab environment that you can actually execute that piece of code with both input and output and you uh, it immediately without setting up the environment again, right? So that's the benefit too. Uh, another idea is you can use Google Colab to do, you know, reproducible research if you have any interesting data experiments and you want to share with people or submit it for, uh, for your research project and it required to be, you know, your code need to be re reproducible. Uh, Another idea is you can share your code and work collaboratively with your friends and colleagues, um, right? And the final idea is you can use Colab for your Kaggle competition. So if you want to enter a machine learning competition, uh, Kaggle is like one of the biggest sites out there. You can use your collaboratory literally for your Kaggle competition. So if you want to learn more about Google Colab, I put all the link and the resources on the description below and the blog post or in the GitHub repo. Um, and you can always, you know, search more about Google Colab and play around with it. So this is the end of the tutorial. So in this video, we have learned about Google Collaboratory and how you can take advantage of it, um, the free GPUs and TPUs in the Colab for your machine learning projects. So I hope you enjoyed the tutorial so far. Uh, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the YouTube channel for more great content. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.